Hey everyone, Adrian from Audio Excellence. Today I'm going to show you one of my favorite accessories of all time. It's the Okinoki Record Cleaning Machine designed in the Netherlands. So here we go. And by the way, I really like this because while it is not inexpensive at 900 Canadian dollars, I don't know what it is in the US, um, for a really good record cleaning machine, it's actually quite inexpensive. You will find that um, good record cleaning machines uh, will cost at least as much, if not more. And one of the benefits of this one is that it's really well built and it's quite quiet for a vacuum uh, machine. So it's double boxed. This, by the way, is the version two. Um, version one was um, discontinued about six months ago and version two is just starting to ship again. And these are uh, what's new, a new dust cover, which the version one did not have. A quick start manual. Oh, look at that. This is all new. Okay, power cord, camel hairbrush, Concentrated uh, record cleaning fluid. This, by the way, will mix with one gallon, and uh, uh, so you can uh, m please use distilled water. Um, this is very cool. Uh, when you put this on, it covers the label, the record label, so that as you're washing, it protects the record label from getting wet. This is the. Uh, yeah, this is the 78, uh, sorry, not 78, but 45, uh, or maybe this is the one. I can't remember. Anyway, we'll figure this out as we go along. One, one of them is for the record label. I think this might be for the record label. And this one is for 45 single adapters. So if you've got the uh, small singles, this will adapt to it. And then this is the actual clamp. And finally, the vacuum arm. Okay. So this is what it looks like, you put this over it, or again, if you are using um, uh, um, the um, 45s, then you would put this over. Okay, so this is how you put the vacuum arm in, just literally insert it over here. Now you'll notice there are three settings at the top. One is for 12 inch, 10 inch, or seven inch. So right now we've got it open at 12 inch. And when it's in rest position, you want to have it in this position so it's pointing a little bit away from the uh, record. Now this record is not really dirty, but for demonstration purposes, we're just going to do that. A couple things before we start. If you come around here, you will see that there is a tube here with a cover or stopper on the top. Now it's very important, the manual, you should read the manual. The manual goes into some details about what you should and should not do. Always make sure that this cover is on the actual tube and that uh, if you find that the liquid is up to about half, then you you have to start, you have to stop vacuuming and dump the, um, the liquid in the reservoir. And you do that by pulling this out, pulling this tube out and then letting it drain into some reservoir. Okay, and then when it's done, you just push it back in here, put the stopper back on, and you're ready to go. There is a, a main on-off switch in the back. And again, uh, Angus can take a picture and show you later, but basically it's right here. Okay, this, everything is operated using this knob in the front here. It's a dual purpose knob. If you turn it this way, you can see it's turning clockwise. And if you turn it the other way, it's counterclockwise, okay? and the center position, it's off. If you push it, that enables the vacuum to turn on. This is the clamp with the label protector. So when you put this over, it covers the label. And we've got some residual fluid from before, so I'm just gonna use that. And this is the camel hair record brush. Okay, so here's what you do. You turn it on. And you apply that much fluid or so. Can you see Angus? Yep. 
Now, how much fluid you should actually put on will determine uh, on, frankly, how much comes out of your um, dispenser. So what you want to do is cover the record so it's fairly moist but not running and it doesn't drip off the um, record itself. Okay. Now, when that's done, you lift this and put it over, and you'll find that it comes to a stop, right? And then turn it. And if you come on the top, you will see how it's, the moistness is all gone. You want to go about two or three revolutions. You stop, and then go the other way. And... And that's it. So if I take the record off now, it's really nice and clean. Can you see? Mm -hmm. So one of the things I really like about record cleaning machines using vacuum is that it's very quick. Now we also recommend and sell ultra ultrasonic uh, record cleaning machines. Those take a lot longer, but they do a very deep clean. If you're like me and you want to listen to something and you don't have the time to take five, ten minutes to clean a record or multiple records, this is a great solution. And um, a number of companies make very, very good record cleaning machines. VPI is one of them. You can now add Okinoki to that list. What I really like about Okinoki, you, you uh, might have heard just now, uh, the vacuum noise. Although it sounds relatively loud, compared to a typical record cleaning machine, it's much, much softer than what the other ones are. So anyway, uh, highly recommend this. And by the way, this is what it looks like. When you're all done, Oh, when you're all done cleaning, the company recommends that you pull out the arm wand and just leave it over there so it's air dries, the, the velvet pads right here, let it air dry. After about 10 or 15 records, if you notice that it gets a little bit dirty, you can take the um, camel hair and just brush it or use your fingers or something and just brush it off so there's any um, dirt or uh, um, debris gets um, uh, taken out. You can also replace these regularly. So you put it over there, let it air dry. And then, okay, so that's air dried, right? Mm -hmm. then, but it won't close. The dust cover. I guess that's what it looks like with the dust cover. All right, boys and girls, that's it. Okinoki record cleaning machine. This is the uh, Mark II version, nine hundred Canadian dollars. If you have any interest, you can go on our website. You can uh, order them online, or you can call us up. Um, info at Audio Excellence, and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.